Michael and Carol, good evening to you both. Yeah, the Attorney General Alan Wilson already filing an appeal, but the judge in her ruling being very clear. Questions after a federal judge ruled against a ban on mask mandates in schools. It stems from a lawsuit filed by parents of disabled children with help from the ACLU. They sued the state, claiming the ban discriminated against medically vulnerable students by keeping them out of public schools as the pandemic continues. At the center, the Americans with Disabilities Act. In her ruling, Judge Mary Geiger Lewis compared the General Assembly preventing mask requirements to telling schools they can no longer install wheelchair ramps. It's not saying that, yes, now masks have to be mandated in school. That's not it at all. It's literally saying that we're not going to allow children with disabilities um, the opportunity to seek a reasonable accommodation. Uh, and the locales will have to adjust accordingly. Attorney General Alan Wilson filed an appeal. Governor Henry McMaster was asked about the ruling during his visit to Greenville County on Wednesday. There are a lot of things that can be done. We would encourage the schools to use all of them. But as far as a mandatory mask, the government telling parents who do not want their children to wear masks for their, their reasons, and they know their children best, we do not think that the government should require that. The Oconee County School District does not plan to mandate masks. The Greenville County School Board will meet Thursday morning for legal advice. We've got to get some guidance from it. We've got to figure out exactly uh, what requirements we, we're going to have to meet. An appeal here could go to the Fourth Circuit. McMaster has said today that he would be willing to take this to the U.S. Supreme Court if he has to. For now, in Greenville County, Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4.